Game on. So what we're doing here today is uh, we've had some requests lately and people are saying, hey, we'd like to see some more beginner or intermediate level of play rather than just watching the, uh, the professionals. And, and I've said this a number of times that I feel like sometimes people are intimidated to come to a tournament because they watch uh, the highlights and the best of the best of the best play like you see in the John Conrads and the Justin Slaters and the Beerlings and the Nathan Walsh and the Hutch Daddy. Um, but not only are when you watch those matches of the semifinals and the finals of tournaments, not only are you watching the best of the best, you're watching the best of the best that are on that day. They are playing at their best that day. So yeah, that that is what you're watching. So what I did was I went out and I scoured the streets and I'm like, I want to find a crokinole loser. Totally joking. <laughs> What we do have here today is uh, our, our friend and tech guy, Mackenzie, and being fairly new to the game, and I think most of what he's learned about the game is just by being in the room while we're doing the recording and the editing to understand some strategy. What we're going to do in this video is Mackenzie and I are going to play. And as we go through, I'm going to make pointers and suggestions and even talk out loud and exp talk out loud, right? Uh, think out loud about the shots I'm making. And uh, yeah, the, the idea is basically for you to, uh, you know, see some more beginner level stuff and maybe learn some things that you can work on to improve your game. Um, Mackenzie, the first thing I'm going to, one, thanks for being here. Yes. Thanks for playing we along. Do have, we do have coffee. You have coffee. Mine's gone. And but, his is gone. Yeah. And we're going to keep score. Yeah, we are going to keep score, and we've also we're testing out a new audio. Uh, let us know how the audio comes through, as well as this new setup to easily see the score, as well as the twenty holders. Um, give you a nice, good visual. The other thing you'll we're notice. Gonna... Sorry to cut you off. You'll yeah. notice how I have more wax than Jeremy, which means I'm probably going to win. Okay, well that's a theory. We'll see if that tests out or not. The other thing we're trying is with this match, we've got our button sitting right in front of us. So from the overhead, you can easily see where we are, like who's who has uh, who has the hammer, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now, the first thing I'm going to ask you to do, Mackenzie, if yes. you'll remember the video we did called Get Your Butt Behind Yourself. So yes. what I'd invite you to do is, uh, yeah, what I like to do, being a right-handed player, and you are as well, is I have my chair shifted a little bit to the left. But the thing I'd have you do is test shooting from both sides and make sure that it's a comfortable reach for you rather than waiting till you're halfway through the round to figure out that something something's going to be tough. Okay. Are you feeling pretty good with this your is... your buttocks positioning? This is over here. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Now, uh, we're actually going to do a video about how you decide who's going to start first, but for today, we'll use this style. My favorite style. Your favorite style? The only style I know. So we mix them up, and I'm going to hold two out. Whichever one he picks is who is going to start. first. So I start the first round, which means Mackenzie has the hammer in this first round. Which do you is call it honors? Honors? Like you're going first? So you have honors? Do the honors? I mean, you can call it that if you want. I don't know what sport that's from, actually. I don't know. Like in darts or something? Things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> All right, so game on. <coughs> honors is just, oh, hold. Woo! I'm just so setting the tone no for strategy, No strategy needed when you just hit 20s, right? That's not bad. So what I've been trying to do is shoot faster, actually. Okay. So waiting over your shot, I find you suck if you wait over your shot too long. For there, me, there's a limit because there's some people that that place and shoot so fast that I, that I feel like they're inconsistent. So mm. I agree with you, and they're, they're like find your range. Yeah. And I think we also I did a video. For everyone, I guess. We also did a video about take your time but hurry up about it. So basically look at your options but not not drag down the slowness of the game. Now just like I said, I'm going to think through my shots here, think out loud. Uh -huh. I could take this straight on and I would probably be fine. And get it off? Yeah, that I want to get it off. But the other reason I'm going to come over here is because it would be possible to drop a 20 here without touching yours. So in order to avoid that, I'm better mm -hmm. off to drop to the side and blunder a shot. <laughs> so, but, okay, yeah, so I'm... Um, so yeah. I have a bump and run 20, but that's sort of difficult. That is more than sort of difficult. That's very difficult. Okay. Um, I but, think your best line is to come This is right a garbage up. line. Yeah. It's just, I'm not saying you can't do it. It's just uh, super, super tough. 
offline right. there. But I'm in the house. Yes. So what I'm going to try to do is, uh, right now you've got two on, and in competitive play, I, you don't want to force it, but you want to, when an opportunity presents itself, you do want to go for that double. So I'm going to try to hit your red one and catch the side of this, so the two red are going to split that way. Did, oh, you look like you had a question there. Well, if you smoke this hard enough, regardless of angle, you should be good. No, because uh, you never know what's going to happen. Let's say I hit this straight on and drive that red one into that peg. It's not going to end well. That's right. Um, this should be doable. I wouldn't say it's a gimme. Like I have to hit this. It's almost like this is coming half hole. Yep. And exactly. You're going to avoid yep. the center hole. The other thing you'll see that I did here, because I am going to shoot this hard, I wiped the wax off my button, and I just did a quick sweep of my shooting area so that I don't have too much slide with my shooter. I got 11 to do that too. What a shot. So I have hammer right now. and You, you do, but you're down a 20. So, so you, you, need, you need a 20. No, I, no, no. Oh, I could go for a 20 right here. You could go for a 20 right here. Yeah. So that is, like, when you look at this. Oh, you're thinking this. Yeah. But the most important thing, you need to, you mentioned the peel. I would not, if I were you, I would not peel in this situation because you're in the house. So let's say you hit and stick. If you can get mine off and stick, there's a pretty good chance after I you're shoot. You're coming in the house anyway. I'm still in the house. Unless, if I have the opportunity to roll out because I've got a 20, I'm going to do that. But if I were, I think either there or here, but if you come here, you're going to want to catch a little bit from of yours, course. that side to look to drive yours, he, drive the black one through here. Interesting. That works too. Now, what I'm going to try to do is, I'm pretty confident I'm going to get yours off, but I'm going to try to have my black one roll out a little bit as to not give you any any shot at a 20. Of course. Wow. That's the hazard of that because I lost my Too shooter. High. I would have been I would have been better off just to keep my shooter on. Wow. We're also going to use mulligans. I'd like you to try that again. Yeah. Good mulligan opportunity. There you go. Maybe too much wax for my, for my, the power. So again, I want to, I'm looking for a hit and stick and some of the things I'm going to talk about, um, if I was to just sit down and play with a beginner player, I wouldn't do these things, but one, I'm going to try because it's a challenge and two, because I'm just talking about some strategy in a perfect world. I'm going to knock yours off and leave mine in front of this peg. Not easy to do, but that's what, that's the goal. Mm. So again, hidden sticking for me, getting the off. Yeah, I mean, what you could look at in, I don't feel like it's there in this situation, but if there's any way you can come off a of mine and catch a peg, like if this was back further, like say it was back here, you may be able to angle off and catch this peg, mm -hmm. but from here, it, there's not a... If I try to go here and catch this peg, I'm more likely to You're more likely not to get the shooter. off and yeah. lose my shooter. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Now, for all intents and purposes, I'm pretty safe here because... Very safe. Yeah. Uh, so, interesting. Even an extremely skilled player is going to have a bugger of a time making a 20 out of this. Yeah. Nice. That was... See, when I pushed through, that was bad for me. Yes, because if I can stay, I'm going to try to drive your straight through. I'm going to run a risk of you catching Difficult. there. I could go this way, but it, it's pretty tight. So my choice on this one is going to be yeah. to go straight through. It could bite me. I want to hit it hard, but I'm not trying to blister it because I don't want mine to carry on and end up, end up in the middle. Yep. So I kept it. I would have liked to have kept it back a little further. Now, if I were you, I'd come from here catch a to try to catch this and catch this peg. It's low percentage, but it's pretty much the only shot you got. You may not get a you may not get a twenty, but I mean the 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 second best thing is that it pulls it back toward the center, 
and you're go for the 20 but it, even if you don't get it then you're create you may Hopefully create future back. opportunities for yourself did, did i hit the button? oh 100 percent. Oh, yeah yeah yeah. My gosh. yeah see that's what i mean like, it, you go for that peg like once you start hitting so i pegs, barely hit your thing yeah disc but, but all you just have to touch it yeah wow, and amazing. it was 100 percent. that was a touch um the tape will show. Yes, it will. A legal shot. Yeah. Now, I could... Just your brain double clutches when you make yep. a shot like that. You're like, oh. I always say, like, no matter what happens, <laughs> never admit that it was a fluke. Yeah. Always like... Oh, no. We game planned it. Yeah. You know what the boys like to say in that situation? They go, calculated. Calculated that one. Now, here I would have the choice. I could drop to one side or the other to shoot up here because I, I don't have an open 20. Uh... I like the bump and run shot. I like the challenge of it. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I do sometimes when I'm playing with beginners is I will intentionally choose the tougher shot. Just, yeah. And so if you I, get a 20 here, I'm looking rough. Yeah, it, either way, whether I go up the side or if I go through my own, um, in either way, if I get a 20, you're pretty much hooped. Yeah. And I didn't. So you have hammer. Double takeout stick of any kind is a victory. Is that right? Wait a sec. That's the other tip that I give people is do some math. Mm. What do you absolutely, because the biggest thing I see people do wrong is they try to do way more with a shot than they need to. All you have to do is hit and stick right here and you win the round. If you hit and stick, this one's gone, you've got a 15, I've only got 10, you win by five points. Right. It, and a lot of people in your Where situation... Where I, I instantly said, oh, I need the double takeout. Yep. And most people do. They're like, oh, man, here's Which a double ridiculous. takeout. But if you go for a double takeout, you're going to hit it harder and way more likely to lose your shooter. But so, I do need to get one of yours off. Yep. I think you've got a better line here. Ultimately, it's up to you. And I, uh, Yeah. Okay. I got it. You've got 15, and I've actually got five. So you win. Flip yourself two points, my friend. Calculated, two for the red. Or seven, go straight to seven. You could, that seems a bit harsh, but, uh, oh, I flipped that around. Maybe that's not, my friend. Ah, uh, these should go this way. No, we're good. So I'm first. You're first, yep. Yeah. We alternate who starts. Nice. Okay. And I'll tell you, there, there's players that uh, that you play against that even if their strategy isn't that good and the rest of their Crokinole game isn't that good, if they're on on their 20s, they are so tough to beat. Yep, I believe it. Sorry. Etiquette. <laughs> You're supposed to be silent and not moving. center so here I'm just gonna try to push yours through and stay right there because again it's not gonna leave you with any great opportunities defensive move and again because I want to hit and stick I'm getting rid of my wax oh not so good 20 would have been nice well yeah but I wasn't going for the follow-through so now uh, now you're set up and again I never think about the ramifications I'm just thinking about the 20 yep but we were talking earlier about what do you want the what do I want your piece to do yep which is ideally you're gonna get the off but with this angle still you would if be thinking that for sure I would come more from here so that because if you come here you got a chance to drive in mind straight into that peg it could come back and cause problems so it makes it a little tougher shot from there, but if ideally my it's black gonna one is going to it's going to come through. Yep. Nice. Yeah. You did not get the off, but you got the twenty. So now you now you're in a situation. If I drain the twenty, you're in a tough spot. Yep. Um, if I don't, then you're doing well. But I mean, ultimately, you need it the twenty. Like yep. yeah. In a perfect world, you would have gotten the off as well, but just getting the twenty puts pressure on me. Is handled. So now, 
I have hammer. Yep. If you hit and stick, useless. I'll play out here all day long because yep. I've got last shot. I'm gonna win if I keep it on this side. So I think you've got a better shot. Like if you look at this, it's a little bit that way. Correct. Which to me says you've got a better you've got a better shot through here than you would through here. For sure. And I want to peel. Yes. Which well, uh, you can't help but peel. Almost. Right. Honestly, I I find a shot like this easier to make shooting strong. Not like you're not trying to put Crazy. it through the wall behind me, but you're shooting. I find it easier strong, but that's that's me. No, for sure. The other, if I can interrupt you, the other pointer I would say is uh, look at where you want to hit the disc when you're aiming. Yeah, be a, a, the reason I say that if you if you're focused, okay, I want to hit that disc, and you're focused right here, <clears throat> you're pretty good chance you're going to catch this peg. But if you if you focus that if. I should almost have a pen. If you focus right here, you're less likely to catch the peg and you're you're gonna get the peel that you want. <sighs> Try that again. Pegasus. Pegasaurus. That's what we gotta call it. I think I didn't put my piece in the right spot. One more uh, time. That's it though. Third time's That's trying it. time. Pressure's on. That's you may get another shot at it, because... Uh, That's how the cookie crumbles. <clears throat> now, if I were you, I would definitely be coming up that side. For a 20. Yes. You want, the tw you want to make sure you get the 20, but I would hit that a little... Try to get the off. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Interesting. Now, coming up this line, there might be a touch 20 there for you. Your other option would be, okay, you're up in 20s. As long as you can keep me from getting in the 20, you're in good shape. So you could come up this line and just drive that and hope that you don't set me up. Would I ever... <clears throat> Shooting from here, yep. Would I ever drift? Try to drift, like hit you off this way, and yes. try to drift out here. Hundred percent. Yep. You just you really That's need to manage your power. Difficult shot. Yep. You need to manage your power because if you drift over to about here, you've set me up. Yeah. If you drift too far, you end up in the gutter. I I love your thinking. If if I was going to do that, I'm I'd probably lean toward less wax. Hmm. Well, let's give it a shot. Would you put any wax? Okay. Wow. That worked out all right. Now, obviously, Scary. I'm going to try to catch yeah. a peg. Yep. This is a... Uh... Wow. Teetering. Oh. So that's, again, that's the risk reward. Yeah, like there, there, there's more reward than risk because I'm down a 20. I kind of need a 20. And if I'm going to leave it somewhere around the hole, that's a good place for it to be. Um, now, if I were you, I'd be going for a double. Interesting. You're probably not going to get it because this is probably going to catch the far side of this hole and do a flip. And but I, I, would, I be, would want to try to come around the hole slightly or just drive through? Straight through. Nice. Okay. I think they call that a lap dance it's when you pull uh, one in my lap. Yep. I'm a little off today. I like it. So, if you can get rid of mine and create some separation. So, ideally, you're going to come from here. Make sure you're not not hitting yours, quite, but try to try to get your button over here somewhere. That. It's a tough spot because you don't want to hit yours and you want to make sure you keep your shooter on. But in a perfect world, you're going to get some separation. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop giving you tips at this point. <laughs> that one worked out. So what are you thinking?
My, honestly, my only shot at this point is to get that one off, catch a peg, and drop a 20 to tie. I'm playing for tie right now. Well, you have this uh, 10 as well. Yes, that's a 10. Those are both 10s. If so there was, be, if you drop a 20, yeah, you'd be tied. Yes. 100%. Uh, super low percentage shot. This is Hail Mary time. If there was any shot at a double, I would take it, but there just, there just isn't. So basically what I'm going to try to do is come off that and catch this peg, and at that point it's just... It's a prayer. Prayer. Exactly. Help me out here. <laughs> nope. Not even close. Okay. All right. Red is up four. And watch what happens when the pointers stop. I'm not going to stop the pointers. Uh, but if they ever do stop, watch what happens. We may just after the flip yourself another two points oh, yeah. there. We may have to roll into a, a no red, pointer match. No coaching match, yep. Am I going the right way? Nope. Tough one. Denied. Oof. So I have hammer. I'm yes, think, you do. I'm thinking about, well, I'm behind now, but I'm thinking about. So yeah, because you're behind in 20s, you either need a 20 or you need to end up with more points on the board than me. So uh, not, more than 20 more on the board than me. You're very early, so if I were you, um, I definitely have a 20 on my mind. I, uh, there's not a great shot at a 20 there, unless you were fantastic at follow-through drift 20s. Yeah. Um, yeah. So your options are here. My concern here is you're going to catch this peg. Right. Your other option would be to come here and drive it straight through. Well, I like this. Yeah. Uh, yep. Even when I'm playing doubles with someone and it, like that's new, and I'm giving pointers, and I mm -hmm. always say, ultimately, it's up to you. Like, which one do you feel but good with? But these are the these are the options. Yeah. You want to always think about. Wow. Came right off. So, um, again, if. If I was playing a, a serious match right now, like if I was playing against Hutch Daddy or, or someone like that, someone who's really skilled, my my goal at this point would be to get yours off and leave mine say here. Does that make sense? So I'd want to I'd want to end up say there because if I just hit and stick, I'm leaving an opening for an angle in twenty. Correct. That the downside of what I'm saying of ending up there is that a skilled player will then take my note and plant themselves here. Right. Behind the peg, leaving me a tough shot. Um, but yeah. But since you're ahead, you're kind of playing that defense. Yes. My other option is that I can try to roll out a little bit. Yeah. Didn't do either. But if I had rolled out a little bit, it just leaves you with a longer angle, which can be a tougher shot. You've absolutely got an angle in 20 there. Uh, if I were in your shoes, I'd be going for it. You might set me up, but at the very least, you're going to get play in the house. That's right and give yourself a shot at a 20. Your alternative is to try to hide. Definitely 20. Yep. Tokyo Drift. Woo! Nice. Just for giggles, nice what I'm gonna setup. do, uh, I'm gonna try a rollout. Honestly, okay. it, it's not the strongest part of my game. You watch somebody like Brian Cook, absolutely deadly at rollouts. Um, why, why not a 20 here? Well, one, because the camera tripod's in the way. <laughs> and two, I just, to practice the skill. Fair. Yeah. Let's, uh, yeah. And I murdered it. Pegasus. Yep. Again. So I'm still looking for that 20. But. Yeah. Um, I. So your options are to hit on the outside or to go through your own. Now, what a, what a really skilled and absolutely gutsy player would go for would be to go through their own and get a follow through 20. Um, super tough shot. I'm into not, it. not many players would try it. I, I would fall into, if I needed a 20, I would fall into that category of players that would try it. Right. I just like, 
Not yeah. typically would you sh do Most, that. a lot of players wouldn't, um, yeah. unless it was Hail Mary time, which we've still, what do you got? You've still got... Uh, Five shots. You've That one and four more. Okay. And the benefits here are... You got to gear end up with two buttons on. Yeah. And some separation. Yes. Potentially. What do you think I'm going to do if you hit and stick right there? Double take it. Or? Or you're going to drift or hide. You're going to hide. And if I do this and mess it up, there's really, it's like, okay. Then, then you're leaving me an open 20. And I've still got one on. Oh, no, assuming, let's say I hit and get your black. Yep. But I don't hit the 20. I could still hide on you. Um, the other Same alternative scenario. would be you peel everything off and force me to go after that one. It's again, it's just another way to force play back to the middle. Maybe we're getting a little too deep on the strategy now, but could be. We're gonna force play. Cool. Uh, so what I'm gonna try to do 20. is take yours out and leave mine that your only option for a 20 would be a follow through. Yep. Oh wow. Not quite what I wanted, but not terrible. You may have a touch 20 here. You're probably not gonna get the off. That's probably what I'd go for. It, I yeah. mean, have a look at it. If you feel like the touch 20 is there, um, you I go like for it. it. I like it. Come on. It's close. Now this one, I'm gonna go through the follow, go for the follow through 20. So drive yours straight through and have mine drop in. And that's feel good with that. Tough one. Um, now my drift twenty is gone. Is not there. Um, Possible follow, follow through. through is pretty much your only shot. Mm -hmm. That is that's a long follow it's through. Very long. I've seen guys like Roy Campbell or Ray Beerling drop other players too. Drop them from like out here in the ten somewhere. Still so pull off the follow. Oh, one hundred percent. It's just tough. Get through the pegs. So now you're out here. I just merely try to hit and stick and lose my shooter, but yep. I'm not that worried about it because I'm up 220s. Yep. You've got so many shots, and I see that with like beginner or intermediate so players. There's so many that are just, they're very, very close. Um, yeah, that's a good. Nice start. Pressure is on. Pressure, that's a great game in basketball. Okay. Like you and I or three, four people would play it. It's pretty fun. Okay, not familiar. So, uh, with this, if I was playing competitively right now, I'd probably just hit and stick. Because if I can mm -hmm. hit and stick right there, it doesn't leave you with much of a shot. Um, but because it's more fun and I'd rather create more action, I'm going to try to, I'm going to come off a peg and try to come back for a 20. Other than the weight and the angle, I hit that perfectly. Yeah. Right? 100%. This is tough. Um, this is tough to know what to do with. It's not that tough to get an off. There probably isn't a 20 there for you. Um, what you could do is try to take mine out and just park yours back here somewhere to not really give me an opportunity and then see what comes up next time. And in the, if I was in desperation mode, I would get yours off and try to catch a peg. Yes. Yeah. In desperation there's mode. Not, there's not a great shot. If, yeah, if you're in desperation mode, I'd probably go for a follow through, but. Right. That's not great. Here, I'm just going to hit and stick. That's basically the exact same situation you were looking at last time, but it's on the other side. Mm -hmm. So you probably come up here for the follow through. Uh, if it was further back, you'd have a shot at an angle in 20, like just a touch 20. I don't really feel like there's a touch 20 there for you.
Now, I'm going for a drift 20, so I want to get yours off and drain a 20. Easy peasy. Needed that one. Okay. You're pretty much looking at a follow through at this point? Yeah. Um, Let's do it. Uh oh. Set him up. So this one I have the opportunity, I could go for, uh, to try to get the off and the 20, or I could just go for a touch 20. Because I went for the off, I ended up not getting the 20, but I should have I should have gotten that. So you were saying you were coaching me? Yeah, after a little technical glitch there. Yep. Um, if I were you, I would be trying to drive that one straight through and have you shoot or drift this way into the 20. So you're going to want to hit pretty hard and just a little bit just that side of center. Just touch over there. Yeah, right about there. That's... Try. Need a little more angle. Wow. Definitely a touch. You may... Is this hammer? Uh, it's your hammer shot. Uh, you need the off. If you don't get the off, you're hooped. Even if you drop a 20, all I would need is a valid shot. Need the off. Yeah. So maybe from here, try the follow through 20. The other option Coming is... through here? Yeah. The other option is to try to get pegged. So try to uh, get that off and get your uh, a hope that your shooter ends up tight to a peg so I can't get it off. Would I not hit here so you go this way? That feels much better, but... If you hit it at an angle to do that, you're never going to get... The, you're never going to get the follow through 20. If you wanted to do that, then you'd be trying to catch this peg. It's going to be way over yes. here. Whereas if you're because trying to drive it straight through, you're just just a touch that side of center. Because, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you're you're in deep right now. Like that I'm that is a, like if you pull that off, it's going to be, wow, that is a, that's a top level player shot right there. Okay, that's coaching. Woo! I don't know why I'm cheering because the best I can hope for at this point is a tie. You win again. Okay. That's six. Thanks to the coaching there. Because I definitely felt way more confident in the shot I was having about, which would have got me nowhere. Whoever had hammer starts the next round. All right, six two. Oh, so yeah, up that line, up here. I think so. Yep, yeah. because if you come straight, you're going to be hard pressed to get the off and the twenty. That's right. Um, yeah, again, whatever you feel good with. I just beautiful. Okay. Started this. Too much steam. <clears throat> so then from here, there should be a touch 20 there for you. Nice. Uh, caught a peg. I would probably, I'd probably go from here. You're definitely going to get this one off, and you should be able to at least push that one out. Uh, what you said, although it's true, you'd have to go half hole. So, yeah. Yeah, and that, that's probably your best bet, actually, is to go half hole. Um, maybe this one catches the peg. Yep. But not if I do it properly. Yep. If I really hit here first. You're going to want to, like, hit, barely hit this one first. Right, right. 
think I'm gonna definitely try it. Beautiful. Wow. Have we released the video about the self assist yet? Not as of this recording. So yeah, soon we're releasing a video about what I just did there. Yep. It's a pretty gutsy <laughs> shot, but um, and I didn't do it quite right. Uh, the idea was to set myself up for a 20 and also hide. Pretty happy with the hide, but uh, we'll see if Mackenzie can dig that out. Uh, you're, I'm you're, trying to dig yeah, here, that's obviously. That's your best shot. Nice. Okay. And the challenge is that I didn't do a great setup for myself. At least I'm back in the house, so I got a shot at a 20. Mm -hmm. But uh, I got a nice carry there. I was just a little offline. Yeah. Now, honestly, uh, you're up in 20s, and you have the hammer. If I were you, I'd be doing my best to stay away from the center hole and uh, make sure you get the off. Right. That is tough. That is a tough shot. Yeah. Because I'm not... Probably, probably from <clears throat> here to try to drive it out there, but yeah, it is, it's tough. Or so, yeah, yeah, that's your other option just for sure. just straight out. Yep. That's not easy, but. Wow. Be off. Unfortunately, mine also went off. <sighs> so tough. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. Shooting for the tie. And he gets it. Wow. Well done. That's a great, uh, great little change of, uh, kind of like a lead change. Mm-hmm. Consistent. Lead Seven change. to three. Well, my back's to the wall because if you win this round, you win the match. Right, I'd be at nine. <clears throat> nice. Right. Ooh. Now, pushing straight through. Yeah, sorry, I got zoned out there for it a second. Is something uh, I did recently. Yep, yeah, push it straight through, and you mm -hmm. can either go for the follow through 20. Uh, try to just drop right there um, if, or try to angle off to one side or the other. If I were in your shoes, honestly, I'd probably go for the follow through 20. If you follow through, at least that way, if you follow through a little too far, it puts me in a follow through 20 position, right? Nice. See, if you had tried to hit yep. and stick and roll just a little too much, it's... you would have set me up. Whereas now, there's a 20 here, but it's going to be a tough shot. Oh, ugly. So would I be sticking here? St uh, in an even perfect world, you're going to get over behind the pegs. Drift this way a bit. Yep. Yeah, because this way you still have easy. Mm -hmm. So I would Yeah, if you just up. hit and stick so I would there. Wax up here. Sure. To yeah. be able to... If you hit and stick there, I'm just going to peel everything. Right. That's at least leaving me with a tougher <clears throat> shot. Okay. Jeez. All I was trying to do there was hit and stick because I'm, I'm bringing play back. I'm trying to pull it, and you're trying to pull it back toward you. Yeah. Now, if I were you, I would come really wide, try to catch this to get rid of it, but have your shooter come back this way some. Your risks are if you catch a peg and leave me in here, you're not in good shape. So or I'm trying to push you far. through here? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, what? The, your other option, I mean, you definitely want the off. Um, so yeah, if you were to come from here and drive me through mm -hmm. here and leave your shooter here somewhere, you're going to be in okay shape. Yep. 
But you want to get the off and you want to be careful what you leave me. That's beautiful. Wow. That worked out? Yes. Okay. Oh! Super Steve! Happens to the worst of us. No mulligans. Wow. <laughs> no mulligans for you. <laughs> That's the dagger right there, man. You just won the match. This is what you... Oh, just slipped over. Good match. All right. Now, we play again. Oh, we play for real. So, the um, record show with a world-class coach. You can... Do anything. And so even, the, even fly. The number of times that I have um, played, uh, you know, a beginner, at least an intermediate player. I mean, you're making good shots. Um, and I get the strategy flushed out. Yeah, um, you're making good shots, but the number of times I've played in that situation and had it be a really close match, or they even they beat me. It just proves how important strategy is. For sure. Um, so yeah, a question for you. Do you find that do you find that helpful having those pointers? Oh, changed. I you're about to see the proof. Okay. Cuz you're about to see. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you I don't have I, to say anything about it. Yeah. I just beat you in a match which will never happen if uh, if we're we're playing just straight up. Um, and yeah, I mean, and uh, the question also is, is to the people watching this, like, was this helpful? Because, I mean, we talked about it being beginner, but it, it ended up, it just kind of ended up transitioning into more advanced discussions of strategy. Um, I think so, when people sit down and uh, watch and they're just looking at it from my perspective, mm. because um, I'm totally average. There, and there are times when people ask me, like, okay, like, I mean, when uh, the, th the three boys, Reed, Garrett, and Nolan, uh, Reed and Nolan are fantastic <laughs> players, and people would say, like, like, when you played with them, did you let them win? Well, even when they were toddlers, I didn't let them win. Um, but something, there's different levels of trying. For sure. Like, uh, so, I mean, as they were getting better, but still weren't at the level they're at now, um, I wouldn't use the best strategy. I'd angle in sometimes when I when I sh when it wasn't good strategy to do it, and just not stay as focused. And not to make excuses, but at the same time, when I'm here talking and thinking through my shots, I'm not as dialed in. No. And I don't really care that you beat me because the the point wasn't to win. The point was to to talk strategy. Now the point is to win. <clears throat> yes. So if you beat me, this video will never see the light of day. That's it. Um, as the winner of last match, you get to go first. Okay. That's how we do it here. That's not an NCA rule because typically in a finals match that you play that person and it's done. But when we're playing here at home, whoever wins starts the next match because hammer really is an advantage. So the loser of the last match gets the first hammer advantage. Yep. That makes sense. Nice. To have any hope, you need to be dialed in your 20s. That's for sure. Nice. That's what I mean. <clears throat> that was crazy. That's how you lose matches. <clears throat> you haven't lost it yet. That was a hanger. So I wasn't was, thinking about it was a getting fair. off. Yeah. Which is a common mistake.
Hmm. Up in 20s, definitely want to get one off and leave my shooter. So I'm not trying to give him a 20, basically. Uh-oh. It's a tough shot because I have to get through my, I have to get past my own. That's a fairly skinny alley. Oh, he murdered it. That, because if you had the 15. Yeah, I beat you on the board. And 25, you beat me on the board. Yeah. Wow. So before your last shot, um, in a, it was tough to do, but if there's any way at all, you could end it up with your shooter outside. Then the best I could hope for was honestly I can't remember if I was thinking that. Um, I think I was just focused on keep your shooter on. Mm. Yeah, I was just like let's drive and straight it, through. And it worked out. I mean, there's there's all the strategy mm -hmm. in the world, but if you had if you had tried to get outside, you could have lost your shooter. Sure. So no. we, are, we are back after another little technical glitch on the upside mm -hmm. while Mackenzie was sorting that out. out I uh, I made us another coffee. I'm hoping that the caffeine will give them jitters. <laughs> give you the shakes. Yeah, because I believe you are actually up to nothing, aren't you? It's exciting. For it's you. Exciting time. For you. So it's my shot. Exactly. Game on, two nothing, race to nine. Got it. Calculated. I know I'm not supposed to be doing any coaching, but try not to. Uh, try Don't not hit, to hit the pegs. pegs. Damage. Oops. Yeah, this is uh, this is Jeremy's two points. Let's practice my twenty. <laughs> Almost put it in. It's not a legal shot. I think I got you. Yeah, slight win there. So that's what happens when you miss one 20 shot. Essentially, that's what's going to happen to you. Yeah, I say when we're playing, uh, when we play against those top level players, uh, you leave that door open even a crack and you're just going to get murdered. Yeah. It's just going to be Norman Bates. I don't know that. Okay, I think I know. If that's Bates the Motel? psycho, if that's the psycho guy from Bates Motel, is that it? Um, from Psycho. Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't know. Not a horror movie guy. Check. Fact check me. Yeah. Is, is Norman Bates the <laughs> early nineteen sixties psycho? Am I? Am I first? Yes, you are. Okay. Yeah. Not all bad. Separation. Me. 
bringing it into the middle. Oh, no! Look at it, look at it, inching closer. the door opening. <sighs> this is just a tough spot. Ooh. Oh. This is hammer shot. Hammer. So at this point, we're tied. Definitely. All I have to do is make a valid shot. Oh, it's not interesting at all. You well, could, it, you, it is still interesting. Could you bump me into the 15. I could, and as and long as I stay in the 10, 10, I still win. Now, I'm going to come to the outside because I feel like it's easier. This is a pretty skinny shot. Like, I can make it. Sure. I'm just, this is my safer. This is my, and it could still bite me. You just got to be soft. So now, like now I've got 20 on the board to your 15. And I win. Now, just to, to back up a little bit, don't want to forget my two points here, but um, when we had the setup with early on, when we had the I setup. I was in such a good spot. You were in a good spot for a tie. But I was. Because I had hammer. I was thinking I had hammer. Yeah. And see, that's that's a big Again? boo boo. Yeah. You, like, you, you played different. Remember. Yeah. You played different. Because um, oh. I, was, I was trying to keep that side, but so were you. I was trying to keep it outside, but more specifically, I was trying to keep it outside and make sure that on my last shot, I was going to be able to beat you on the board. Yeah. So uh, that's why I came here instead of there, because I wanted to get up to make sure I could get into the 10 on my last shot. So I kept it here. Yeah. I, I was just trying to keep it here. And at one point I rolled into there, which I was still okay with. Cause but you weren't actually shot. trying to bring it I was not trying to come into all the, the way middle. In. No. And then did. that's when I came over and hit pegs. Yeah. Did I not? Yes. Yep. Yeah, but if I had brought it into the middle and then you were able to even get a touch 20, I have to go after that one. See, that would have been great if I, I was trying to hit yep. and stick. Actually, a super simple shot. Oh, you no, say no, simple, that's a, that's a it's tough not, angle. It's not yep. super easy, but... Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, that, that was a little bit of the, the thinking that I was so using now there. I'm, now I'm down two straight after the break. And it is my blast. The coffee jitters are yep, they're very real. effective. The struggle is real. <clears throat> nice. I love when it happens right. Nice. Just roll, flies out of the frame. That's a okay, twenty actually. Yeah, we'll just put that. <laughs> Oof! No. <laughs> damage. Yeah. Maybe the first time I've actually seen damage. Okay. Yeah. Hit, hit a real piece. My career. My career. Lengthy career. Unfortunate. Wow. Definitely trying to stick that. Oh! An odd mm -hmm. stoppage. I'm hammer. I can get a touch 20 here, but it's no good to me. I need the off and the 20. No good. You've already won without shooting. Right. 
So then you just... You could take that one out. I could. Yeah. Um, what you probably wouldn't want to do is shoot at that one because you could give me a 20. Yep. Um, yeah. I'm just going to grab my missing disc here. Okay. Two points for the bad guy. Okay, the bad guy is struck. See, even as a beginner, your open 20s are strong enough that uh, I missed When two, I'm hitting. Yeah, but I missed two open 20s and left hangers. And I uh, hit a few. Yeah, they were, they were tough hangers. But difference. you needed to be able to hit them, and yeah, next thing, I was down two 20s and fighting my way back, and uh, yeah, 120 I probably could have overcome, but not the second one. Mm -hmm. So, your blast, good sir. Get some jitters in. Nice. You gotta start with a 20. You have to. Okay. Oh no. Cue that song. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. This is my incentive to get practicing again. Wow. Just the worst. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. I'm hanging on. Jeremy's hang hammer. Brutal. <laughs> no, that was not what you want. So uh, four thirty. You've so got these me. two, these two cancel each other. Got me beat. I beat you on the board. Yeah. So it was toward the end there. My second last shot. I didn't feel like I had a twenty. You had a red one here, and a red one here. I had a black one here. I didn't feel like there was a twenty. So I think you were like here. So instead, what I did was I took this one out and I tried to get over here. And my idea was that on my next shot, I'd have a shot at a twenty. I didn't, but it still, it left you in a, a bit of a jam. But and I, I was trying to get the off yep. here, but didn't even move. I think yours stayed in the 15. Mm -hmm. was yeah, again, the you're, you're, you're playing strong enough that I needed you, I needed to set up a situation for you to make a mistake in order to get back in that round. Which you did quite well. But yeah, it's the, my puny crokinole brain would never even compute. This is the reason to go back to our first couple of skills tips where we talked about the hanger 20s and the open 20s because, yeah, mm -hmm. they're, uh, they're just a huge part of the game. This is also a race to nine. Yes. Oh, you son of a moose. Ow. I was afraid of that. Not what I was. I was sitting there looking at it going, if he can drain a 20, I'm in a tough spot. That was 
a double takeout attempt. Stay out of the fifteen. Normally, you let something like that go sure. until you're fairly confident it's never going to touch a button. That's the way I do it anyway. There's not like there's a rule written about it. It's just common kind of etiquette. It is a rule you're supposed to wait for that to stop spinning before you shoot. That's what happens when you get cute. You get dagger. I think I'm getting our 20 holders out of the picture there. Yeah. You still have a shot? Yep. This is your last? And... Dagger. Dagger. Get some practice in. It's a good way to look at it. That, uh, get some practice in. And when you go to a tournament, the uh, 20s count. They get used as a tiebreaker. So that would have been... Right. Yeah, you absolutely want that 21 for the practice and two, because uh, yeah, who gets to make it to the next pool uh, could come down to... Do I really have four? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you won the... I don't remember that second win. Uh, I wouldn't give them to you if you hadn't earned it. So, uh, your last. Right. Your back is to the wall, no pressure. But... Uh, major pressure. And that's... Nice. That's how you have and to you... start... As a guy who played as a goaltender at a fairly high level of hockey, I would think you'd have nerves of steel. But I mean, on the ice. Mm. <clears throat> Checking out your options, I like that. Done that too many times today. Nice. Thank you. Not what I meant to do. I'm not a bullets here. Nothing there. I like the way you're looking at your options. That's something yeah. I'm definitely seeing you do better. Is is look around and see what your options are. Oh my goodness. All right. Happy with that. That was fantastic. Yeah? Well, I can't get in. Okay, good. <laughs> I can't get in off that. The only option... All I was thinking was hit and stick. Yeah. Like, don't... But, but you, like, I can't get an angle in. I mean, what am I going to do? Try to come off that Good and catch point. this peg? So it's, it's, just because, not it's because it's in between pegs. And where it is in between just the pegs. So the it's, perfect spot. Yes. I already said nice shot. Don't make me say perfect. Like, fishing for compliments much? So I was going to say, the follow-through hmm. type of... Was my only option. Mm -hmm. Liking the 8.6. At least I uh, survived a little longer. And 
now the throat shots will come out. Um, yeah, we need to work there. on this positioning. The idea was to see the score. Well, every time you get 20. your, we're draining some yeah. in the 20s. Though. Right. Just, and uh, it's my, it's my uh, high I was, uh, you were hammer. Mm -hmm. Shooting first. Starting off right. You can't be doing that against this man. You gotta have to use your head a little more, Mac. That was kind of Ooh. just an unfortunate drift, I think. But I shouldn't have even been... Like, I should have stayed away from the 20. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Until I get a better opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. Nice. Not a great spot to be. Yep. This is what you do. You just it's like, where's the best? Over here. <laughs> <laughs> Over here looks good. <laughs> yeah, I bet it does. It'd still be a tough shot, but uh... it's not easy to get, folks. Let's try the other side. Better position. I will get this off. It's the last thing I do. You watch. Last piece. I feel obligated to drain the 20 to give so you a shot can, at it. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. And the peel. Well done. All right, ten six. Ten six. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah, like you shot really well. It just. Uh, but you have to be on. Yeah, I I want it. Obviously, I want it to just straight up school you in that match. Um, That's right. But uh, on the upside. And I, I called it before. That you. That I, I said you? this is where the throat shots come out. Oh, for that last round. Eight six. Yeah. You yeah. Just, you can feel. No, it. you, you did. Feel like you do well enough on the open twenties that. Uh, yeah, like if if when tournaments are a thing and you show up at a tournament, I'm I don't underestimate anyone because I've made that mistake so many times. You sit down and, and you get go, beat by anyone at "Old any Mabel time. here looks like she's about ninety eight and three quarters years old. I got nothing to worry about here." And Shots fired at Mabel. <laughs> I'm so glad I picked a pretend name. Mabel um, watching. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, or or uh, sometimes there's some very there's some younger kids will come and play, and you're just like ah. But you know what? They get on in their twenties, and you make a couple mm -hmm. mistakes, and next thing you're down six nothing, and you're shooting for pride, hoping to even just pull two points out of the match. But uh, anyway, I I think we'll wrap it up there. Um, to be continued. There's gonna be there's gonna be a rematch. A rematch uh, situation. There's yeah. no there's no ten available on the scoreboard. That's why he's not. Uh, Flipping it over. Flipping it over. Well, you flip it again, and it looks it like again. six nothing. We can't have that. There you go. But uh, yeah, let us know in the comments things you'd like to see. I, I think I mentioned earlier we're looking at doing things like uh, playing doubles, where you and I would partner together, uh, get another beginner player. Maybe our friend Jack would partner with Reed or Nolan or Garrett, and uh, just do some because I think we could take Jack and Nolan. Okay. Ah. You and I. Let's go. Nolan's pretty sharp. Uh, right now he's on the DL, but um, because yeah, in doubles play, uh, table talk is absolutely allowed. So I would be able you to. You can coach. Yeah, we can coach, and See they that? can coach. And a lot of times in a match like that, even I would chime in and point something out to Jack. I'm not going to tell Nolan anything because well, he's on his own. He's a fully trained crocodile samurai. That's right. So uh, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. I know it got a bit long, but uh, maybe it will help Clint quench that coconut thirst you have while we're waiting for the competitive scene to come back and yeah hopefully there's lots more of this to come in your future so um in the meantime have fun playing the greatest game on earth that a boy